Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to you guys how to make a mining system. Before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know I'm on Christmas break, so expect hella videos and stuff. Well, as long as I can think of content, but yeah. So, yeah. But I'm going to show you guys how to make a mining system. Like, you have a little pickaxe tool, and then the, um, the ore. It's not going to be too complex and stuff. Like, obviously, you guys can add on stuff, like like certain pickaxes have like multipliers and stuff like that like for how much damage they can do and stuff um but for this i'm literally just showing you how to have like you have a tool which is of course your pickaxe and then you have ores and then um you walk a tool you click it to knock down the durability you knock down the durability enough then you'll destroy it and then eventually you get money from for each one now obviously like majority of games don't work like that some games do but I'm just showing you guys the like the basics of it, just the framework of it, rather than like showing you guys this is exactly how you should make it for your game, as everyone's game will differentiate and stuff. An alternative to what I'm doing is you guys could really um y'all could really do like a um like a inventory, like values and stuff. Yeah, like like you could have like the ore's name have like each one like have a value for that and then just change for how much they have in it there but anyway let's get into the video though first thing first of course we're gonna need a pickaxe right now this is a scripting video not a modeling video type shit type shit so i'm gonna just make a, make me a quick little pickaxe you feel me and it's not even going like a pickaxe bro it's going like a stick for the most part like we're gonna do that move this up scale rotate if i remember correctly yeah and then if I just scale this, uh, huh, yeah, I think I pretty much look like a pickaxe. Yeah, pretty much. Let me make this a nice little dark gray and metal. Let me make this, maybe it's like a, a double gray and then metal, of course. And boom, this, this is my pickaxe, right? You guys can obviously make it differently, but yeah. So this is my pickaxe and stuff, so... Uh, hmm. Um, I don't really f f see a need to really name them, but anyway, you can insert a tool into workspace, right? And then of course, name this tool pickaxe. So pickaxe, then get your parts. Well, actually, we're gonna need to weld them together. Not think about it. So let me. So yeah, we are gonna need to name them. Okay. Uh, we'll call this bottom parts and. The other one, of course, top part. Then we need to weld them together. I didn't even think about that. Top part. Okay. Then let's weld them together. Insert a weld constraint. Of course, make part zero the part you're, you have it under, or as parents, it's, or a child of, I should say. So top part, then, then boom. Then do the vice versa, part zero. And boom, they are welded to each other. Then, of course, we're going to need a handle. So let's move this up let's rotate this like that oh they mean to that let's rotate it like this right and then we need a handle so let's see definitely we need to scale this down like a lot um maybe like oh yeah like at the bottom you feel me because yeah usually mm. Mm, so th yeah, usually be like at the bottom. So yeah, we gonna scale this. This is gonna be our handle. You want your handle to yeah, pretty much look like this. Scale it to go like that, and then boom. And then boom. There's a handle. So then you can name this, of course, handle. And then of course at the transparency to one you can turn can collide off with all of these parts then you can put all these parts inside of the pickaxe tool right there then you can go ahead and drop the pickaxe into starter pack yep. then we're gonna need an ore so let's insert a part let's make a little spear this is gonna be real quick if i me. we're just gonna a little spear size it down a little make it like an ore we're gonna use gold for the video so we're gonna make it like yeah we're gonna say this is gold this is gold ore right we're saying this is gold ore you feel me right and then of course anchor the, you want to anchor this right then we're gonna enter the value into it right this is gonna be the durability of it we're gonna set a number value 
and then of course we'll call this durability. And then we'll set it. We'll set it to just twenty-five if I'm. And then we're gonna head on over to. Uh, actually no. Let's make our let's make our uh, remote event first. Let's so head over to replicate a storage. Insert a remote event. To call this your mine event, right? Then let's head on over to starter pack and into the pickaxe. You can insert a local script. Call this uh pickaxe. Yeah, yeah. We'll, call, we'll go with that pickaxe script, right? And then you want to get a local player first. So let's do local player. Let's go to game dot player dot local player. Then get the mouse, but we're doing it differently. Do local do local mouse is equal to player get mouse, and then you're gonna do script dot parent dot activated connect function close parentheses. Then you're gonna say oh well we need another variable sorry guys enter again and then do local mine event. Let's go to game dot get storage dot mine event. <clears throat> then you're gonna do local target is equal to mouse dot target, which if you don't know it means the object is pointing to, which is like say if I have my mouse here, the target is the base plate or the target is the gold or or spawn. You feel me? Not like the position or anything. You feel me? So yeah. Then we're gonna do mine event fire server. Then we're gonna send over the target. You feel me? Right. And then we are done with the pickaxe there. Then so the server service script service and insert a server script. And then you could just call this your mind script. So we've got a lot to do with this script, not gonna lie to y'all. First things first, of course, we need to establish uh leader stats, right? So first things first, let's go ahead and just knock out the two variables. Let's go ahead and get our uh let's go ahead and get a data store, because we're gonna need a data store, you know, for saving. So local mine data store or say mining data store. Mining data store is equal to game get service data store service get data store mining data store right then let's do local mine event just go ahead and knock these out mine event okay right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up some stats real quick we'll try to get this done real quick so we can actually get to the actual like parts that do specifically with mining so let's do game dot players dot player added connect function parentheses put plr short for player then enter then do local leader stats we're gonna need two variables you can do instance dot new a folder oh folder then we're going to make this a child of the player then leader stats dot name of course you have to set the actual in-game name leader stats then do local cache to so go to instance dot new number value then uh make its parent leader stats then do cache dot value is equal to z is equal to zero the default value of course cache dot name is equal to cache you feel me then we're gonna get the key local key is equal to player dot user id then we're gonna run a pgal. We're gonna do. I've used this before in another video. If you don't know, we're gonna do a local success comma error message is equal to p pgal function close parentheses enter. Then we're going to do if oh well local data is equal. I completely forgot that that we put data inside. Anyway, we're gonna make another variable data. Local data is equal to mining data store get async. Then put the key in, of course. We're gonna do if data, then cache dot value is equal to mining data store one, which pretty much means the one in the bracket means the first value that's saved, right? Then of course we're gonna we're gonna make sure that this actually works by Adding a while loop, we're gonna do while not success do, and then we can literally just copy and paste this. We can literally just copy and paste this whole thing, and then just throw and then just throw like a wait in there. You feel me? Just throw a wait in there, and then you can decide however long. Now we have our stats for when we join. Now, of course, we need saving. This is an actual saving. So let's do game dot players dot player removing. This part is a lot shorter than the first one. Oh, sorry. Removing connect function plr once again. Then we're gonna get the key again. Local key is equal to player dot user ID. Then we're going to do the same thing again. 
local CXS comma error message is equal to pcall function close parentheses and then we're going to do mining data store set async key then with special brackets our first value will be of course player dot leader stats dot cash dot value then of course just like up there we are going to do while not success do then the same thing and then of course just put the weight All right wait so say five seconds that sounds good and then the we've okay we finished the stats i know it's a lot now we might read the scripts are in the description but okay now we're going to get to the actual mining okay so skip two lines by clicking enter twice then we're going to do mine event on server events connect function in parentheses we're going to put plr then or name All right so we're going to do if or name is equal to gold right because that's the name of the or right or name is equal to oh my fault this is or i forgot we're sending over the instance and not the name so we're going to do or dot name is equal to gold then we're going to check the durability after checking the name we're going to say if or dot dur this one not out of by the way not durability is um is less than or equal to zero which pretty much means the durability is like it's you know it's at its point where it can be broken zero then we're going to do or destroy and then do player dot leader stats dot cash dot value is equal to then we're going to copy and paste this plus five uh, plus five right but then here we can come down here i believe it was, yeah i was right okay right here we're going to put an else if statement right so say the durability is higher than zero you feel me like there's still more durability we're going to do else if or dot durability is greater than or equal to one then we're going to do or dot durability dot val oh i'm stupid i completely forgot about the value I completely forgot because this is so what's it called. I'm so used to using booleans. Okay, so put a value here, right? Put side value, right? So order so order by dot value is then equal. Then we'll do the same thing, copy and paste to order durability dot value minus. We could really say five for you from me. So this will make sure that it keeps subtracting from the ores durability right up until we get to the point of it being zero or less then it'll destroy the ore and give the player five cash right and okay there we're done now just to explain something quick obviously if you guys wanted to add extra ores and stuff like diamonds steel coal whatever and stuff you would just you would literally just add else if statements like you would just be like else if make sure it's in the right spot though or dot name is equal to steel. You feel me? Like you would just do you would just do stuff like that, and then you would just you know add this change the names. You feel me? Yeah, stuff. But yeah, we can go ahead and test this. Show you guys it works. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh well, my pickaxe is not my hand. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, so if I hit it, oh. I forgot to go to it. Let me go real quick. As you guys can see, the durability was set to 25, but now it's 20. Now, if I click it again, yep, 15, 5, and boom. There you go. I got 5 cash, and the ore has been destroyed. There you go. That's how you make a mining system and stuff. Now, obviously, if you guys wanted to have animations and stuff, you literally would just create the animation on the script, and then you would literally just play the animation for every time the player clicks. So that isn't really that hard. If you do need help with that, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I apologize for it being 14 minutes. I thought it'd be a lengthy video but not too long i apologize thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing me help me get to 400 subscribers and yeah appreciate y'all for watching and scripts will be in the description links to my roblox group and discord can be found in the description as well and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys